Your School of Business at Oklahoma City University, Vince Orza, back for his weekly visit. I hope you had a good time away. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. Very good. Uh, while you were gone, uh, this BP thing uh, didn't get solved. Uh, the economic impact, what is it going to be? on not only the Gulf Coast, but for all of us. And, you know, the one thing we have to be careful of is that we don't overreact. You know, if the government gets a little crazy here and bans all that drilling in the Gulf, guess what? That's going to drive the price of oil and gas through the roof. It'll also affect employment in the Gulf, as well as employment and profits in the economy everywhere. And this is a big deal. Now, something Associated Press pointed out from the speech last night is, they've banned new permits for drilling drilling is still going on at this time though right, right. they haven't banned all drilling no but that's what that's what you're hearing out of washington mm. and that means that tens of thousands of jobs in the gulf could be lost additionally businesses in the gulf will be impacted by the spill fishing is halted tourism's really down hotels restaurants retail sales really taking a hit sales taxes as a result are also down that affects local and state budgets and all of that lost business means lost wages and that means lost federal income taxes coupled with having to pay higher unemployment compensation. Of course, the president says BP is going to pay for it all. Is that possible? Well, it is possible. BP is a big company. It makes a lot of money. And that's one of the concerns, again, people have with a government overreaction. We've got to be careful not to bite the hand that feeds us. BPA pays a lot of taxes, employs thousands of people, pays big dividends to a lot of people in their 401ks, their mutual funds. We pay taxes on those earnings. There's talk the government wants BP to suspend their quarterly dividends or pay them in shares rather than cash for at least two quarters. Well, that'll affect a lot of people who live off those dividends. The company earned $17 billion last year. They had $8 billion in cash left over. Wall Street estimates the spill could cost somewhere between, get this, $17 and $60 billion to clean up and reimburse everybody who's lost something. All right, $60 billion, so they only have $8 billion in cash. How does a company pay a bill like that? Well, they're probably going to have to sell some assets if it gets to that point. They could suspend their dividend even longer. And by the way, if we cut that drilling back, guess what? That drives the price of oil up. What does BP do for a living? They sell oil. They could make more money by the fact that they get penalized and we stop drilling. So would BP like the government to restrict the drilling and and like take that monkey off their back? Well certainly there's an upside to the price of oil going up for them and it's not really in the country's best interest to suspend drilling altogether but just to make sure it's done well and done right and right now there's a lot of reason to think Nobody seems to have their arms around that. And again, British Petroleum, but as you pointed out, it's thousands of U.S. jobs we're talking about here. Thousands of U.S. jobs and tens of thousands of people just like us here in Oklahoma who have a mutual fund or a 401k and own some BP stock. You may not even know it, but guess what? You may not get a cash dividend this, this current quarter or the next quarter. And not just impacting us on the, the uh, dividends and the pension plans, a lot of Brits have their pension plans directly tied into BP oil. Because it is British Petroleum, the Brits have heavily invested in that for a long, long time, Ed. Yeah. All right, Vince Orza, Minder School of Business, Oklahoma.